the recession, a couple of clues that after 10 months, there may be the makings of an economic recovery, but not a very strong one. First, there was the index of leading economic indicators. It is supposed to forecast where the economy is heading. And for the third month in a row, it is pointing up. The second clue is in the nation's factories. New orders to build everything from calculators to construction equipment have also gone up. Signs the economy may be sputtering back to life. Here's our economics editor, Stephen Ogg. Business has been booming at the Home Depot chain of do-it-yourself stores, like this one at Marietta, Georgia. Business is real good this quarter. We're up 10% over last year at the same period, and the trend seems to be increasing as we go along. So we're very excited and encouraged by that. To keep stores like Home Depot running, manufacturers are producing more. That helped push orders to U.S. factories up 1.8% last month, their first gain in six months. The rise in orders was also the biggest single reason the government's index of leading economic indicators rose six-tenths of one percent last month. Other reasons include fewer workers being laid off, employees working longer hours to produce more goods, and the rising stock market, which is giving these clerks at the National Association of Securities Dealers more work to do. I've never seen it as busy as it's been right now. It's uh, really zooming since the, uh, the war was over in the Persian Gulf. On the downside, the biggest negative in the index was consumer confidence, which had been up sharply during March at the end of the Gulf War, but fell back part way in April. Economists say the indicators confirm that the recovery in the months ahead will be sluggish. The typical economic recovery may have the economy growing at a 4 to 5 percent rate for six months to a year. We'd be lucky to get half that rate in this recovery. A three-month string of increases in the index of leading indicators means the economy should begin to recover. But it's a vague indicator at best, because in the last recession, the index was rising 10 months before the economy started to recover. Stephen Ogg, ABC News, New York. It is not easy to tell when a recovery actually begins. It's usually a very slow process, and those companies that have gone through the painful business of cutting budgets and laying off workers are not likely to risk expanding without seeing a lot of proof that the worst is over. Here's ABC's Bob Jamison. Manufacturer Peter Dayton set up his booth at the Consumer Electronics Show in Chicago, encouraged by the good news that his company's orders increased sharply last month. But with unemployment still high, Dayton does not believe consumers have the money to lead the country out of recession. You've got a hundred bucks. You can't buy a car with it. There are lots of things you can't buy, but you could always go out and buy a CD player. At its Austin, Texas plant, Advanced Micro Devices has also seen an increase in new orders for its computer components in recent weeks. But the company has no plans to rehire any of the workers it laid off when the recession began, even if business gets better. We have today adequate factory capacity uh, to meet uh, significant demand increases. In fact, few of the more than 600,000 factory workers who have lost jobs since last October can expect to be rehired soon. Major appliance manufacturers whose business got better last month still have huge inventories to sell before production can increase. American-owned automakers are building 25% fewer cars this month than they did a year ago, and sales are still sluggish. And economists believe recovery from this recession will be weak. Once the recovery gets underway, it's going to be difficult for the average job seeker and the average businessman to tell the difference between recession and recovery. Many economists believe layoffs could slow to a trickle by autumn, but that it could be a year before manufacturers and others will hire again. Bob Jamison, ABC News, New York. On Wall Street, many investors apparently believe the recovery is underway. The Dow Jones Industrials gained another 27 points today to close at a record high, 3,027. The trading was heavy. It brought the gain for the week to more than 113 points. Three dozen more communities learned today they may lose their local military bases and suffer the economic consequences. The White House Commission, which is studying possible base closings, has added 36 bases to the 43 already on the Pentagon's potential hit list. Prominent among today's addition, the Long Beach Naval Shipyard in California and virtually every major installation in New York. Nothing is final. The Commission has until July 1st to make its recommendations to the President on which bases should actually be closed. In a moment, Mr. Gorbachev's representative visits President Bush to ask for help with the Soviet economy.